Well, this afternoon tensions are high following the Fulton County Commissioner's meeting, which focused on jail conditions. Of course, this has been a hot topic as leaders are now searching for solutions to the crisis happening at Rice Street. Well, since the beginning of August, six people have died in custody at the jail. 11 Alive's Jerry Carnes has more on the proposal over how to deal with the overcrowding. As conditions inside of the Fulton County Jail continue to deteriorate. You should not see any more funds go to into your budget until you sit down and you figure out how to properly utilize them. A showdown between the sheriff who oversees the jail and Fulton County Commissioners. Uh, I'm, I'm going to finish my no, remarks. No, you're not going to sit here and disrespect okay. me. No, no, no. no. I've been the heated exchange comes after several inmate deaths and complaints about conditions at a jail currently housing more inmates than it was built to hold. In an effort to convince commissioners of the need for more funding, Sheriff Pat Labatt produced an inmate to describe what he's seen. The walls are crumbling down and inmates are getting, creating shanks out of the walls so you can go inside of the wall and get you a knife. One proposal is to spend $30 million to move 1,000 inmates to facilities in South Georgia and Mississippi, an idea that produced shock from one commissioner. I am sad today that in the civil rights cradle, we're talking about shipping individuals to Mississippi. Labatt says some of the overcrowding issues are beyond his control, that many inmates have cases that have yet to go before a grand jury. We're in the middle. We don't control when an individual goes to court. On the issue of funding. This is about the third time that the sheriff's office has come down here, not with not giving us information ahead of time, to ask us for a boatload of money. The sheriff and Commissioner Bob Ellis went toe to toe. I'm not going to let you take me there because my mama taught me better. In the end, no resolution to an issue that has produced at least one lawsuit and political turmoil. That was our Jerry Carnes reporting and public defenders who represent inmates at the jail say moving them to South Georgia or Mississippi would make it impossible for them to do their job. Well, Sheriff Labatt counters. He says attorneys can meet with inmates virtually and even sign documents remotely. Well, the plan to move other inmates out of state isn't unheard of. At least four state corrections agencies have used this same strategy to address their overcrowding problems. We spoke with Vermont Correctional Facilities about how they did it. We have that full story for you right now on 11alive.com.